Hey guys, what's up? This is Evan from Stock Music Musician, and today I've got a tutorial on how to unlock the internal and external routing of the Kong drum machine. Uh, now, there's two main reasons you're going to want to use, or you might want to use these internal and external routings of the Kong. The first one is if you want to apply an external effect to the drums on the Kong inside the Kong. Now, to me, that's all right but I prefer to do that outside of the Kong. I'll show all of this to you in a minute. But the second reason, and this is actually a very interesting one, is because there are certain effects that only exist inside the Kong player, you can actually route external audio through the Kong and then be able to unlock and use those effects. So if you're interested in learning more about this, be sure to like and subscribe because I've got all sorts of information on Reason and I try and make it twice a week. So I hope you enjoy this. Also, I want to let you know, up here there's going to be popping a playlist of all my stuff on Kong. So if you want to get deeper with this wonderful instrument, just click up there. We'll start learning all about Kong. So let's turn to the lesson. Now you'll see here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a Kong. And we're just going to go with the default kit. And we'll turn it up just so you can hear everything. Um, doesn't really matter what sound it's making. And we're going to insert a player just so we can have something in here. So now if we hit run, and let's just change the pattern. Oh yeah, we dance. All right. So that's just a basic Kong there. We've settled with that. Now though, if we flip the Kong over, oh, this just looks like a regular Kong, right? No. Go to show drum and effect down here. This breaks out, brings up the breakout. Um, section. So here, and what I really want to focus on, look look at the flow of audio. This is how it works, and then it all goes to the um, main audio outs here. So what we can do is take the output of the Kong, for example here, send it to an external effect like a screen or any effect you'd like, and then send it back into the Kong and then it goes out the master. Cool? Cool. All right, so let's see how that actually works in practice. So effects, let's just use a screen. Sorry. Um, let's hold down shift while creating a screen so that it doesn't automatically route. I held down shift, now there's no wiring. And then we'll take the output, the external breakout output from the Kong, put it into the input of the screen, and we'll take the output of the screen and put it into the breakout jack. This is basically just an effects loop. Like if you've got a guitar amp, um, a lot of them have these effects loops. That's basically all this is. So now if we hit play on the, we're still not going to hear anything. But then what you do is you click on, for example, the bass drum and use the bus effect sound. And we can do that on the snare too. So um, the important thing to realize is this is the audio input and the parameter is bus effect, bus effect to master level. And then these parameters here are basically CV ways of controlling how much of this bus effect gets sent. Um, so if it's not working, that's probably where you went wrong. But now I want to show you the more exciting to me way of using this. So let's delete this screen. Bye bye. So what I want to point out here is that any of these effects, it doesn't really matter which one, but um, you've got different sounds here. Can, well, so you've got this compressor here, you've got a filter which doesn't exist anywhere else in Reason. Same with the overdrive slash resonator, or the rattler, the ring modulator, the tape echo. This is not the same tape echo as in um, whatever it's called, the, um, the echo. So this is a different echo, this tape echo. You might be able to recreate it, but a lot of these sounds exist uniquely and simply in the Kong. So there's actually a way you can apply these effects to every audio sound. And that's what we're gonna look at here, which I think is the more interesting application. So let's just create, I'm gonna hold down shift and I'm going to create a Dr. Octorex loop. 
And I'm also going to, we'll just bypass this con, this drum sequencer so it doesn't play. So now what I'm going to do is take the main out from the Rex and connect it here. And so now it should be flowing through the master effect here. What I want to point out is previously we were using the bus effect, right? But now we're using the master effect, if that makes sense. Um, so if we change this to a filter, or if we change it to a rattler, sorts of cool sounds that you'd never find elsewhere in Reason, at least in the stock. Right? Transient Shaper. I mean, you can do that with the ADSR curve. But... So I hope you found this interesting. Uh, this is basically how you go ahead and use the uh, external breakout jacks in Kong. They really can help you take your songs to the next level by adding in effects. Um, so if you've enjoyed this, be sure to like and subscribe. Leave a comment down below. I made this video out of a request. Um, so if you've got anything else you'd like me to make a video on, be sure to leave a comment. Um, and if you've got any other cool uses for this breakout section, please let me know. Thanks.